As you can see here, I'm getting this error, no Python interpreter configured for the project. So in this video, I'll talk about three things. Why this error occurs, how you can quickly fix this error, and what is the best way to fix this error. So let's get started. Just a quick information. This project is actually where I create a Python bot to automatically buy and sell stocks in the stock market and make a profit. If you want to see a video tutorial on how to do that, just check the link in the description below. First of all, this error occurs because our project or PyCharm does not know which Python interpreter to use while we are running this code. So you can just click on here, click on configure Python interpreter. And if you are seeing options like this, Python 3.10 or something else, you can just click on it and it should work. If it is not visible to you, click on this add new interpreter, add local interpreter. And you might be seeing all these things here virtual environment, conda or whatever. If you're not seeing any of these, you will at least be seeing system interpreter. So click on system interpreter and you will already have path to the directory where your Python is installed. If you don't see a path here, what you need to do is click on this and you go to where your Python is installed. By default, I'll show you where Python directory is installed, where Python is installed. So let's go to Explorer. Let's go to C. Let's go to users your username and app data local and inside programs and as you can see here here i have python installed so i have two versions of python installed if you have one you'll only have one folder so click on this and you copy this whole path and that is the path you put here and in the end add python.exe after you are done click ok and as you can see, the error is gone. But what it's doing is, this is using the same Python or same Python libraries for all your projects. And that is not a good practice. What you need to do is, you need to install packages according to your project. So if let's say your project uses NumPy, you need to install NumPy only for that project. And because there might be version issues in different different projects. So what we do is we create virtual environment for each project and we use only that libraries and that virtual environment for that project. So how that is done is you click on this and as you can see it shows Python 3.10 for which project for auto trading bot. That is I have created a virtual environment only for this project and I have installed libraries related to this project only in that virtual environment. And as you can see here the error that was coming before is also gone. So how you can create virtual environment and how you can use it for a project, just uh, check the link in the description below, check another video and I show you how to do that in that video. If you have any problems, let me know in the comment section below.